Hey folks, it's been a little while. Uh, i just like to say thank you for all the support and thoughts and prayers that I've been receiving. It's an amazing thing uh, to have a, people across the world checking in on me, seeing how I'm going. I really appreciate it. I thought first thing I'd do is share a little poem that sort of sums up where I'm going and what I'm doing. Return. I have returned from a sabbatical. I have been gathering material for the story of my life. I return with renewed vigour, energy and purpose. A hunger to suck the marrow from the bones of existence. But also to make time to sit in the quiet places and contemplate the meaning of life, my purpose, the why of the world. I return with renewed passion to share stories and paint pictures with words, to turn thoughts to letters written on pages, phrases coupled together that can go on for ages, a desire to create connection and make you question your conviction. Material written that records the journey, not just of the body, but the wild imaginings of my mind. I open a door to perceptions of my reality. I cannot promise all my thoughts will be kind to you, to me, my body, my untamed mind. To plumb the depths of darkness, harness depression, hold myself tight. Hope, love and purpose flash like lightning in the night. I want to purge my demons, demonstrate the strength of human resilience, Hold myself to account, take note of my emotion, maintain much needed surveillance. Cut loose the connection to thoughts that implode, thoughts that create an impossible load. I'm here to grow into my craft, shape words fit for purpose. I'm not looking for perfection, the enemy of progress and production. If words I scribe make you feel wrong or right, I have succeeded with prose. If I can stand on the precipice of life and look into the void and welcome my end, leave something written as a legacy to my life, then I can close my book. I have made my last stand. So that pretty much sums up what I'm doing at the moment. I've really lent into the poetry side of it. Uh, physically, I have a few issues with side effects from drugs. I uh, get very bad tremors from, I believe it's from the Tacro. There may be other issues there as well. But uh, I'm under a little bit of stress and exerting myself. I shake that bad that I can't uh, hold a tape measure properly and read the numbers, which is a little bit of an issue or mark mark where it needs to be marked within a couple of millimetres. Um, so yeah, I'm just poking around the farm, doing bits and pieces and writing poetry. Uh, I've been, one of the reasons I, I'm using as an excuse that I haven't done any videos is I've been working on my poetry book, trying to get it together, uh, hoping to find a publisher by the end of the year or before the end of the year so that I can have the book out by the end of the year. So yeah, I'm basically just a struggling artist living off my wife's paycheck at the moment. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll do something I've never done on this channel and that is ask you to like and subscribe and comment and I believe there are ways to uh, make donations or contribute however you feel you would like to. Uh, something else I'm also doing is I've got an Instagram page, Mountain Bloke Moments, which is sort of more still photos and uh, yeah, stuff that's not suitable for YouTube. I've also opened up my Facebook account as a professional account. So you can hunt me up there, uh, Rob Parr. If you search for that, you'll find me. So I'm trying to put up at least a, a picture and a poem a week. And as far as YouTube goes, I'll try to do a, 
live poetry reading, I guess is the best way to describe it, uh, once a week. And yeah, it takes some more video of stuff that interests me. I'm still involved with machines, not big dozers or anything, as most of you should be aware that have followed me. We had to sell the mountain block to, uh, well, no, well, yeah, the, the truth of it is sell the mountain block to fund my liver transplant. Um, not so much the medical side of it, just the travel and the accommodation and all the other bills that need to be paid when neither Kel or I were working, so. Yeah, I don't want to ramble on forever. Uh, that's where the channel's going. I know some of you won't be keen on it, and that's cool. Um, if you've been watching, waiting for days of videos, they're probably gonna be few and far between. Uh, do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you wanna hang around and see where I go with my poetry, that'd be great. Uh, if you wanna hang around for Kelby dogs and cattle, that'd be cool. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one. Desire to create. Oh, dog, you're destroying it. You're destroying it. <laughs>